So let me ask you, because this is, comes up in class all the time, about how you approach interviews with people who are going to be talking about things you have no, you know, no background in, and mm -hmm. it's intimidating, and you feel like you have to really understand oh, what they're talking it's about. Awful. Yeah. But there, but there are. I think there's an expectation that students have that they have to be experts. But the fact of the matter is, yeah. they really need someone to explain it to them the way anyone could understand. I, I mean, it. you your your ignorance is your greatest ally. You know, I think, uh, and because you. If you don't understand it by the time you walk out of that room, your audience isn't either. And so you, so the the, the worst part of it is that you have to look like an idiot, and then during the course of it, of the interview, you have to look like a bigger and bigger and bigger idiot because you are just going to have to keep going back and being like, well, I didn't understand this part, and like, if there's any confusion about the logic, you have to sort of realize it at the moment and then go back and be like, well, this doesn't make sense for this reason, and sort of like, and like. If you're good at being ignorant, you will eventually start to seem smart again. <laughs> but it's like it is a long, horrible time of just sort of feeling like an utter ignoramus, and you 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 have to. I, I think that was one of the reasons that I feel like we were able to do this story when the financial press basically didn't cover it in the same way. They were covering the giant pool of money. They were covering like the weirdness and you know and the mortgage market and stuff like that. But they were covering it in a way that like they'd been along with it for the ride the whole right. time. And so when we came and we're like, this doesn't make sense, and we asked a very simple, right. stupid question, it was really that was got the ball rolling. So when you're in an interview with somebody, you're literally saying to them, "I'm sorry, I'm still not understanding." Absolutely, absolutely, all the time. And I and I tell people, you know, like. Uh, actually, say that again, and and like I didn't get that part, and like this this word, uh, you know that that that's a jargon word. Can you use a different like if you had to explain it to somebody who didn't know it at all? Like pretend you're talking to somebody, you know, and like all radio, radio especially, you have to do this because the, you know you have to use their quotes on the on the air, so they can't have jargon in them. Um, but um, but I think all radio reporters have a, have a phrase that they use with people, and like so mine is like pretend you're talking to. A pretty smart sixth grader, you know. That's like just you know who, who can get it, but you have to explain it really, really carefully. Uh, John Nielsen, who's an NPR reporter, I used to play this clip when I taught taught radio here. He would be like, All right, "I'm I'm a guy at a bar. I'm pretty drunk. I'm smart <laughs> though, but I'm pretty drunk, and you have to convince me, you know. So uh, so that 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 worked for him. So it just yeah, like yeah. so a smart sixth grader or a drunk adult, a drunk adult, yeah, yeah." yeah.